Welcome to Surgeon Income Tax School's course navigation tutorial. In this video, we'll show you how to easily navigate your course so you can get started right away. When you first log into your course, you will see Site News at the top of the homepage. Site News is where you'll find important announcements and updates that the school admin team has shared with students. Below that, you'll find My Courses. This is where you'll find your registered courses. All students automatically receive access to the course introduction and outline and the Student Resource Center. Before beginning your course material, let's take a look at a couple of items in the course introduction and outline. The first thing you'll see is our Terms of Use and Disclaimer Statement. Here, you'll agree not to copy, redistribute, or publish the courses in any manner. You must also read the legal disclaimer regarding our courses. Next, you'll need to agree to our Academic Honesty Policy, where you will pledge to complete our courses with complete honesty and in good faith. You'll also be alerted to our grading policies and that your grades will be monitored through the Learning Management System. The rest of the course introduction and outline includes a place for you to provide us with your preparer tax identification number, also known as your PTIN, and if you are a tax preparer in California, your California Tax Education Council number, also known as your CTEC number. We ask for these numbers so that we may properly report your credits once you've successfully completed a course with us. This section also includes more information on our courses, navigation, and frequently asked questions. The Student Resource Center contains important announcements about the website, your courses, and external resources that are useful to your training. Once you complete these sections, you can begin your course by clicking on the course in the My Courses section. We'll be using our 2021 Comprehensive Income Tax course in this example, so there may be slight differences if you are taking a different course, but most of the navigation principles will be the same. Within your course, you'll see several useful areas on the right side of the screen. Course Resources contains PDFs of each chapter, tax forms, worksheets, and other resources specific to your course. There are also links to take you directly back to the Course Intro and Outline and Student Resource Center. Course Support helps you quickly contact Surgeon ITS or School Admin Support. Chapter Progress tracks your overall course progress per activity within each chapter. A green check means you have successfully completed the activity, while a red check indicates an incomplete or failed grade. At the top right corner of your screen, you'll see your profile name, which will open a drop-down menu when hovered over with your cursor. This is where you can edit your account preferences, open a calendar, see messages or other posts, access forums, and view your grades. Each chapter is organized into three sections. Lesson materials, which include chapter materials, study questions, and learning activities. Graded assignments, which include study questions and learning activity tests and learning activity scenario solutions, which include the solutions or answer keys to graded activities. These three sections should be completed in order, from top to bottom and left to right. Simply click on either the heading or the icon below it to begin each section. If you don't complete a prerequisite activity, you will not be allowed to continue to the next step. You can refer to the completion progress blocks on your right to verify that you are on track. Please note, that opening a PDF file does not always mark an activity as completed. You may need to refresh your browser to move to the next step in your course. Throughout the course, you may notice hyperlinks. These are glossary terms, links to important forms and publications, and PDFs to visual aids that help students further understand course material. These links will open in a new window. To move through each lesson, simply use the navigational arrows at the bottom of the slide you are viewing to continue to the next slide, or to go back to a previous slide. When working on review questions, select your answer from the available options and then click the checkbox in the bottom left corner to receive feedback for both correct and incorrect answers. Notice the instructions regarding the number of times you can attempt the test and how much the test is worth. Answer choices in the tests are randomized. Please be careful when selecting your answer, as it is unlikely they will appear in the same order as in your textbook or the chapter download. If you are unsure of an answer, you can flag the question by clicking Flag Question in the gray box on your left. The quiz navigation will then show a small red triangle in the upper right-hand corner of the item in question. Once you've selected answers for all test questions, click Finish Attempt in the quiz navigation box to submit your test for grading.
Clicking Finish Attempt will open a summary of your attempt. In the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a box labeled Quiz Navigation. This will show you any questions that are flagged with a small red triangle, as well as any questions not yet answered with an all white box. You can return to the test questions by clicking the Return to Attempt button. This will allow you to go back and review any flagged or unanswered questions. Please note, using your browser's back button may cause an error, which may result in losing answers you've already selected. Please use the navigation within the learning management system. If you're interrupted while in the middle of a graded assignment before you're able to save it or submit it for grading, for example, your internet service goes down or your computer crashes, don't worry. The graded assignment will be paused in progress. Simply click on the test again to continue the last attempt. When you are satisfied with all your answers, click on Submit All and Finish, and your test will be automatically graded. Once submitted, the next page will display your score with feedback. Be sure to review the feedback so you know which questions you may have missed and why you missed them. Please note, you should not attempt to view learning activity solutions or answer keys until you're completely satisfied with your test grade or have completed all attempts for the chapter. Once this file has been opened, the tests will be locked and will no longer be accessible. If this happens, a second attempt will not be allowed. You have two attempts to pass each study questions test and learning activity test with a score of 70% or higher. If you fail an online test, we strongly encourage you to review the questions you missed and research these topics before attempting a test for a second and final time. Each study questions test and learning activity test count as a small percentage of your overall course score because these are like homework. You also have two attempts to pass quizzes and final exams with a score of 70% or higher. The quizzes and final exams are a more extensive testing of your knowledge and therefore count as a larger percentage of the overall course score. It's very important that you score well on these. If you're having a problem with a quiz or final exam, Surgeon ITS support may be able to point you in the right direction for course questions, but ultimately this is a self-study course. Students are expected to research and problem solve on their own. After all, there will likely not be anyone looking over your shoulder when you're working professionally. Please keep this in mind and do not attempt quizzes or final exams until you're certain you're able to pass. After completing all the chapters in a module, the next step is to take the final exam. You should download and print the final exam PDFs first. Keep in mind, all tests are open book, and you should take advantage of this. If the final exam includes a scenario and tax return to complete, there will be two separate tests. Part one is for the multiple choice questions based on the material covered in the course. Part two is for the tax return, which you must prepare based on the scenario provided. Part two of the final exam may only be taken once, so you want to take your time and try your best. Whatever grade you receive on part two will be included in your overall course score. A general overview of your grades is available by accessing the menu in the top right corner of your screen and selecting My Grades. An in-depth look at your grades is available by accessing the menu in the top right corner of your screen and selecting Course Grades. You must complete your entire course with a minimum average score of 70% on all graded assignments to pass. Upon successful completion of your course, you will receive a digital certificate of completion. If you purchased your course through Surgeon Income Tax School directly or through one of our partners, you'll receive a certificate of completion from Surgeon Income Tax School. If you're a student of one of our licensees, you will need to speak with your instructor about receiving a certificate of completion. You will not receive one from Surgeon Income Tax School. You may view and download certificates by going to the upper right corner of your screen and clicking your name to open your profile. Then click Miscellaneous and then My Certificates. If you don't receive your certificate of completion, please contact the school administrator at info at the Thank you for taking the time to review this information. We wish you much success with your course. Please reach out to Surgeon ITS Support or School Admin if you have any questions.